let's have a look at uh, using our new notion of stress for sort of non one dimensional cases. And let's look at the design uh, of a, a pin that's meant to connect two bodies that are being uh, pulled apart. So we have this force F that's trying to pull these two bodies apart and they're connected by this pin in here in the middle. And the the pin is is carrying loads, so it transmits loads from say bar one over to bar two. Okay. And the the cross sectional area of the pin is given to us as A, and we know that the pin can carry a max shear stress of tau Y. So tau Y is the yield stress in shear for the material that the pin is made out of. And let's see if we can calculate what is the maximum force we can apply on this linkage here so that it doesn't fail. So the first thing that I want to do is make a free body diagram of the different parts of the system. So the bar one, if I make a free body diagram, has one of the applied forces and then there has to be this reaction force F here onto the inside wall of of the hole that must be drilled through piece one. If I make a free body diagram of part two, to keep it in equilibrium, I'm going to have two forces of F over two acting through the hole that's been drilled through the ends of piece two. So that keeps that completely in equilibrium, assuming that there's symmetry in, in the distances. Now, if I draw a picture of the pin, which is what I'm actually interested in, uh, by Newton's third law, I'm going to have this force F here, and I'll have the two forces F over two acting from piece two. Okay. Now, we're interested in max shear in the system, so let me go ahead and make a section cut through the pin. So I'll slice it between the, f the load F and the load F over two. I could have done it below or above, I'll get the same result. And now if I draw a free body diagram of the top piece, I see my force F over two. I have to keep that in balance, I have a force F over two, and then there's going to have to be a moment here that will depend on the distance that I use to make the section cut. But as far as the shear stress is concerned, uh, I'm looking at F over two divided by the cross-sectional area. So tau max then becomes F over two A, and I can rearrange this and say that F max has to be less than or equal to twice the area times the yield stress in shear. And so that, that's a simple example of using this notion of average stress on a, in a system to come to, say, a design decision. In this case, what is the maximum force that the linkage can support?